So these fidget spinners were quite the craze. Everybody that watches the videos knows that. This fad is completely over by now. Um, has been for about a year, but while they are hot, you know, you could move 10,000 units no problem. Like, you couldn't keep them in stock long enough, and by the time the big manufacturers uh, started selling them in the capsules and things like that for the bulk vendors, it was a little bit too late. You know, it was near the end of the fad. I've talked about this in my previous video, but these are called squishums. And this is another fad that you don't see any suppliers selling these, you know. So these have been going for a couple months now, and you've I've seen similar numbers. My friends and I have seen similar numbers with these squishums uh, running in a skill crane as we have with the fidget spinners. So um, <clears throat> kind of like-minded things. You know, they're both, this is a fad, that was a fad, this is over and done with. You couldn't sell these and make a lot if you wanted to. These are just really, really cool. So if you're not running them in your cranes as toppers or complete straight, um, they work good as toppers because there's a good weight to them and there's a good size to them. And so if you add these in on top of your plush as like a crane topper, they work really well. So anyways, in this video, we're gonna do a review of, um, what are we gonna do a review of? Today we're gonna do a review. We're gonna work on this. Let me see if I can get to it. It's this All-American Chicken Machine right there. That's, that's what we're gonna do a, a review on today. So I've gotta move some of this crap out of here and out of the way. I'll probably show the footage of me playing with this one also uh, in the video because um, it, it was a little quirky getting it going. So anyways, cool. Right on. Day two. Day three. The All American Chicken Machine. Let me see if I can focus in on that so you get a clear picture of it. All American Chicken, baby. And um, this one, as you can see, has a few modifications to it. It does have the two. It has music going. Um, but it has a two coin max, and then it has the ICT bill acceptor. Um, what's upgraded on this is I put a Duck Dynasty type plush uh, duck instead of uh, a chicken. Um, and it has the lights on here that are, um, it has the lights on, on there that are, uh, you know, those are added. So, um, as you know, I like to modify the equipment that I get. Most of the time, because manufacturers do general, generally do a good job on manufacturing stuff, but I'm a huge light guy, and I like to add lights to pretty much everything. I don't feel, I, I don't feel like manufacturers put enough lights on stuff, and so usually, hence the lights in the back. But generally, the play field is filled up to about the duck where, where uh, eggs go. You could also put two-inch capsules, which is cool if you run like uh, bulk vending, you know, sticker capsule type stuff, uh, you know, and you have crap that doesn't sell, you could always put it into one of these, mix it in with some eggs, and you'll get rid of it. You can list it, stuff, uh, 25 cents a play, or you can do 50 cents a play, uh, so it makes it more versatile. I also, I've seen people make their own capsules, so they buy their own product, and then they, you know, but that takes a lot of time. I wouldn't recommend it. That's what some operators do when it comes to making products for these. So, but generally, this is an item that you use to get rid of crap that you don't want or need, or that doesn't sell, or you mix in, you know, eggs, or, you know, make your own eggs, or make your own capsules. So, a uh, pretty cool machine inside. Your bill acceptor, your two coin max. You have your change bucket right here. So the quarters go in here and into the change bucket. 
Then you have a circuit board right here. And then you have your power supply in the back. Another power supply here and your motor right here. Um, this one right here operates like I, I believe the board is good, but I've actually got to got to find out what the problem is with it. Um, if it's the motor itself in here, because here's what happens when you coin it up. We're going to try two quarters instead. We're going to coin it up and I'm going to show you exactly what it does. Uh, I like the, I'm a security guy too, so I really like to have the added security. Um, let's, so there's cool music when you add a quarter. Okay, the music plays, and at this time you could see the capsule inside. This wheel is supposed to be spinning. It's not spinning right now, so I need to do a little test to see if that motor is bad right now. So, anyways, um, as the product falls, there's a switch right in here, and it tells the machine that it's vended the product. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you that wire or not. It's a very thin wire. There it is. Okay, it's a very thin wire. It's right here. So when the product comes down the chute, this flips the switch and it tells the motor, it tells the wheel to stop spinning inside. But right now when you coin it up, it's not spinning. Um, so that's what we're going to work on today. So I'm going to strip the wires on the motor and we're going to juice it up with some electricity. And if it spins, then I know the motor's good. If it doesn't spin, the motor's bad. So here we go. Day four. Just an FYI, the hammer trick only works on some of the machines. I've been hitting on this one all week and it's still not working. See that? See? I, I can hit it all day long and for some reason, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so right now I have electricity to it, to the motor, and right now I can tell you the motor is 100% bad um, because I've got I've got electricity via this wire going into the motor. It's so either that or this little diode is bad, which is a possibility, but um, you know, this this might be the problem. But I, I so far I've ruled out electricity is not flowing through here, um, or it is flowing and is not turning the motor, so the motor is bad. Thank you so much for watching my chicken, all American chicken review video. Uh, it is a machine I recommend running. You can find parts for it if you need help. Send me a message in the comments below and I'll touch bases with you. I have a lot of cool content coming out. And um, one of the videos that I have coming out, as you can see, there's a stacker in the back there. Uh, I have a hack video coming out for that. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and that push bell notification. Stay with me. I'm gonna buy them all, yeah, I'm burning it up. DPGC, you should be turning it up. CPT, LBC, yeah, we hooking back up. And when they bang us in the club, baby, you got to get up. Cause homies, thug homies, yeah, they giving it up.